Oxventure Blades in the Dark merch is available now. Catch Volusport's newest and most notorious gang of thieves red-handed in an all-new scene. Nab this stunning piece of Oxventure art on a t-shirt or as a poster. Then declare your allegiance for Edvard's hated rival, the ruthless industrialist Amadeus Astor, with an Astor Interventions pin. Just don't let Edvard see you wearing it, or we'll never hear the end of it. Add these precious pieces to your collection by going to store.outsideextra.com. Hello everyone and welcome back to Oxventure Presents Blades in the Dark. My name is Luke and I'm here with the whole ruddy bloody gang who will introduce themselves for you now I'm sure. Hello, Barnaby, at your service. Mm, actually, you should probably be at my service. <laughs> Quite rich. <laughs> yes, I'm... How is that guy still here? I don't know, I'm Edvard. I invent things. It's Barnaby. Yes. It's very, <laughs> rude. It's very rude what you just said. No, I'm just stating facts. Hmm. Well. Hmm. I'm Stella and I punch things. She really does, yeah. Um, I, I'm Lilith and I whisper to ghosts. I'm, uh, I'm Casimir. Generally, I judge things, but occasionally I choke them unconscious. <laughs> very well, very well. Okay, right, folks. It's the big one. This is it. All of your activities over your last several scores, all of the sessions have been building up to this it is the dimmer sisters vault heist day that is what's coming up those are the stakes but before we get stuck into it i'm obliged to say let's do some downtime let's do it quickly because i want to get to the good bit with the heist lilith and zilla you were in the mm -hmm. you were in the last heist so um that's right no downtime for you but yeah. uh casimir barnaby edvard yeah, Edvard, you have one downtime activity, and Casimir and Barnaby, you have two. If you want to, there's anything you want to do. How uh, close the wonderful am I mechanical man is only one piece of one right clock, good. clock piece away from being finished. Yeah, we finished the wonderful mechanical man. I just need to get the the hairstyle right. Cool. That's all, that needs all right, finishing. Uh, I don't think there's anything that you could roll that would not make that happen. Oh, I don't okay. think so. Well, let so... me just roll something anyway. Yeah, go on. <laughs> oh, it's a three. A three. <laughs> oh no, well now I'm going to have to check. <laughs> no, it's, it is a segment. Okay, cool. Thank you, Johnny. What a wonderful thing to have completed. And we'll find out what that looks like later. Uh, how about you, Barnaby and Casimir? What are you up to? Uh, I've got uh, two segments left on my healing clock to uh, heal my bloody nose. So that would be quite good to get rid of that. You know, it's getting all over my coat. Don't get rid of your bloody oh, nose. You need that. <laughs> He's got rid of his bloody nose. <laughs> How does it smell? You're only supposed to take your bloody nose off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the blood, the nose, if the nose could remain, uh, that would be great. Well, let's see how you roll. Uh, cool. Is it just, <laughs> is it just one? I'm on sorry, the, the nose does fall off. <laughs> <laughs> is it just one, one D6? Okay, so actually you roll, um, you roll uh, 2D6 because you have an improved healer now. Oh, great. Perfect. Well, that's a three and a four. Okay, great. Uh, so yeah, no, we'll awesome. take the four, which is two segments of your healing clock. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. So if that fills it all up, then downgrade all of your harm by one. Mm -hmm. Casimir, how about you? Um, you I, for the first time since the first session, am completely stress-free. Um, Hooray! But <laughs> I am still in need of a new cane. Um, mm. So I've got three pieces left to fill on that. So I was thinking I might mm -hmm. have a, a bang on that. Uh, I've no mm, idea what it. Edvard has cooked up to be my new cane, uh, but I've rolled a four. Okay, lovely. Which that'll fill in two pieces. Two pieces, and then do you say I've got another downtime action? Yeah, you do. Yeah. So let's can, uh... let's. Papa needs a brand new cane. Yay! All right. I've rolled a two, which is one more segment, but that is ding ding ding. New cane done. No idea. That is what it. it. The does, cane is complete. But in well, fairness, all it needs to do is hold me up. So. Oh, the bar's set for <laughs> <laughs> That's set the one thing you didn't think of. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, you should have mentioned, old man. The whole thing Back is made of, board. made of pasta. Um, no, it's <laughs> for snacking on for quick energy during the heist. No, it's uh, I jest, of course, old man. You'll like this. So, as you'll notice, it is a cane capable of supporting your weight. Uh, you'll notice the nice uh, filigree on the uh, the knob at the top there. But if you flip that up. You'll notice there's a little trigger mechanism. Now this is this is clever. The cane is capable of holding one charge of electro anti-ghost shot. So, in a pinch, 
if you flip this up, point the end of the cane towards whatever you want to zap, and then just just hit that trigger there. Discharge a load of ghost buckshot. Are you telling me I've got an electroplasmic gun built into my cane? Yeah, it's just the one. It can only hold the one charge. It's just it's quite a narrow tube. But um, yeah, so you know, it might come in handy in a pinch. It's beautiful. You're welcome. Enjoy. Uh, you'll notice I put the the E L initials there on the top. Uh, of the cane. I got a bit carried away with that. That will buff out. Don't worry. All right. <laughs> uh, brilliant. Oh wow! Incredible, incredible use. In- incredible cane building, Edvard. Hmm. Nice one, Casimir uh, and Edvard. You share a moment. Um, Barnaby, you've got one. You've got one downtime activity left. Uh, How will you beat that? Gosh, I don't know. What 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 can I do? <laughs> <laughs> Find a Anything wife? that you can. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm far too elegant. For that. <laughs> Start the wife clock. <laughs> oh no, I've had to fill wow. in another segment. <laughs> um, well, do we still have uh, some heat on us? Yes, we do. What can I do? Yeah, Three, who's, right? Whose fault was that? Was just, uh, I wonder. Misunderstanding. Um, you know. Some people thought that I was going to die, and in the end, they died. It's just a You've got three heats and a wanted level of one. To clear a wanted level, uh, unless I'm mistaken, I think basically someone has to go to prison, so maybe that's not the time. <laughs> Perfect, uh, Barnaby, we found what you can do! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't think prison would become me. It's rather hard to get a drink around there. Uh, okay, so um, Barnaby, how are you reducing heat on the crew? Oh, paying people off, bribery. You know, the usual. Cool. All right, that makes sense. So, um, uh, yeah, roll whatever uh, action you're doing. I would imagine that's a... Is that a sway, do we think? Could be. Up to Could you. Could be. So, yeah, sounds reasonable. I'm swaying Bribery. people with a lot of money, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, I'll roll two. That's two fours. Two fours, okay, cool. Well, we take the four, and that reduces two heat. Amazing. Uh, I'm also going to take two coin out of the uh, coffers, <laughs> just for... Like that. Right. Nice one, Barnaby. That has significantly reduced the heat. Yeah, you um, you 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 go around town, you know, ha- doling out little little bits of cash. You don't explicitly say, you know, these are bribes or something. You just you're just basically glad handing, just increasing your reputation, the gang's reputation. This is one bribe. <laughs> Slide a coin over. One bribe, please. Okay, great. Well, yes. So it's been a busy old time. Um, do you think it would be worth doing a little recap? Um, of what everyone got up to. I think that would be a good idea in the lead up to the heist. So why don't we start with um, Casimir and Lilith. What did you do to recruit a new gang to help you in the heist? Burned down big... the train yard, didn't we? Yeah, put a big ghost in it as well. Yeah. <laughs> we just sort Sorry, of... how does that help? Exactly. Well, it, the, the, the tiny urchins really wanted us to do it. Um, we did it, and they said, brilliant, we'll help when you go after the Dimmer Sisters. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. We didn't have to set it quite so on fire. To be honest, the ghost would have done on its own. But, you know, what what was I supposed to do? Just stand there. Yeah, a few bells and whistles on it. Why not? Yeah, it's Impossible. a whistle ghost. It's terrifying. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Casimir and uh, Barnaby. Barnaby, you were tasked with finding an escape plan for the end of the heist. Well, we certainly found one. We found a giant balloon. And we won a balloon race as well. Yeah, we took and it the rest, for a test I can't drive. really remember... Oh, we killed four people. Whoa. Oh, my God. Do you remember that Four. Bit? Yeah. Yep. Well, it was indirect. Yes. Yeah. Misunderstanding, sort of, like yeah. I said. But, we, but they're it, dead. Oh, yeah. They're Ooh. dead. I mean, you don't survive a fall out of the balloon onto uh, onto to Char Hollow and, and live. Or was what it one What kind ground? of people Oh, they were red sashes. Have don't you even killed? worry about it. Yeah, okay. uh, really no positive contribution to society at all. Yeah, look, one of them tried to jump onto our balloon, got rebuffed, didn't make it back to their own balloon. Whoops. The other balloon... That's gravity. Yeah, exactly. The other balloon suffered a um, a serious propeller malfunction that made the whole thing tip. And uh, look, if they can't keep their feet, do they deserve to not plummet to their deaths? No. The Red Sashes did not like it, but at the same time, they did enter a balloon death race. So, I think well, I've, quite. You know what you I've, sign up for. Uh, I've read of these in uh, some of my studies. It is a Disney villain death, I believe. Yes. Yes. Disney villain death. <laughs> yes. Yeah. W- yeah, with, yeah. with, yeah, guilt that's spread around and difficult to articulate. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, particularly that's after a few celebratory drinks. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm. uh, then uh, Lilith and. 
Edvard, uh, Lilith, you were tasked with uh, taking care of the Dimmer Sisters' pet demon. Mm-hmm. Well, um, we uh, went back to my university uh, and uh, dealt with a banshee. Got some real had... japes. Yeah. That trusty we, we, old Dean. That's always awkward. That we trusty solved, old Dean solved... never knew what hit him. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we did a, did a, like, solved a murder, did a, did a mer- oh, yeah, did murder mystery. Um, and then we found out as well... Put a traffic cone on the statue of the founder. <laughs> <laughs> well, we found that uh, from my friend Flint, my spirit trafficker friend to help banish the demon we need very bright light so i've got i've got this uh this lantern here that will help us banish the demon um who uh, we've got to look out for the sketra it's a sketra and we've got to look out for shambling rags and clutching shadows so So maybe if we stay away from the laundry room is Can like a good a idea swivel? yeah <laughs> <laughs> but also um edvard you were tasked with getting through the first vault door mm. and you went on a mission to do that with zilla how did that go yeah we went to astor's uh headquarters not very nice place bit dingy bit run did down. you recruit him he seems like he'd be very useful no no life. he's a very stupid man he wouldn't be very useful he's got so many us. resources i see his logo on things all around town his stupid logo yeah it's um he's a stupid thief and he would not be good in the gang but um yeah you could tell actually that the company is in quite a lot of trouble the offices very they were huge very run down huge hugely run so, down so many floors so many so empty many staff. floors full of nothing anyway i got the plans i have sketched out plans as you can see it's yeah, a stupid yeah, yeah. lock that a baby could make but um uh here they are so as you can see they're very easy to circumvent but the heist was nearly uh lost entirely uh when a rival gang made a, a bid to steal the heist out from oh yeah we got robbed you. You everyone got robbed. we got robbed mm-hmm. but zilla was on it weren't you zilla you missed it because you were all out doing something mm. but we I had got to go robbed. to the market yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, did they take the we got they took everything they took everything the they took all the, all the, the lamp not lighters no they didn't no, leave not the no, no, they left, left. Them at, they not left them WMM them <laughs> really I was surprised yeah. that they'd leave yeah 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 yeah. but it's okay we got the stuff back and I saw terrible terrible things Lilith did horrible terrible things oh. well Tell they them. were I I may Ghost have stuff. set the victim like it. of someone back on their murderer and he may have yeah. tried to climb tried to get into her mouth. Her mouth, um, yeah. And unhinged her jaw, basically, her jaw. yeah. It's horrible. Oh, sorry, so you, you raked us over the coals for just happening to drop four red sashes onto the city, but you neglected yeah, to yeah. mention that you're just sending ghost down the throats of yeah but hey it wasn't me hey now we've sort of got something yeah, spooky over there on them so uh, that's true we have blackmail material we have blackmail on material the lieutenant for... uh, over at the lamplighters lamplighters yeah i can't believe you're Lamp-lacks. all off killing people during your missions i invented we, we didn't we kill her anyone. i invented we shrek her. what's shrek there are some things worse than death it's a, it's a wonderful tale of an ogre he says, G'day, I swear Shrek is a type of ghost that I've it come was, across. It's the latest Zoe <laughs> trope or something. It is. Uh, it, I don't it know. Is, somebody once actually, told me. It, it, <laughs> you are all aware of uh, the tale of Shrek because the Astor brand Lanthorn has swept Volusport. Yeah, um, weird there that. Is, there is one in every home. Um, Curse you, it, devil! <laughs> really must introduce me to this Astor fellow. He sounds like a riot. Yeah, I'll introduce <laughs> you to this Astor fellow if you don't shut up, Barnaby. <laughs> You're really winding me anyway, up. Anyway, <laughs> this rather this rather tense conversation is taking place in the back room of Eleanor's largely legal antiques. You are all packed into this room and you are not alone. Also here is Bug and Mumbles from the Gut Cutters oh, and Hicks um, Barnaby uh, Hooray! who you'll remember is the roguish pilot of the Sparrowhawk who you recruited. Um, meanwhile, the wonderful mechanical man who has been... Uh, How's he doing? Good. He, The wonderful mechanical man is doing great. He is walking around. Uh, he is chatting. Smoking a he cigar. Is, uh, he is friendly. He can um, play chess. And is playing, he staying playing, yeah. upright this time? He's, he's staying upright. He's walking around. Um, the only thing so far that he either is able to or wants to talk about is the concept of death and the oh. nature of the existential abyss. He wants to know if he has a soul, doesn't yeah. he? No one tell him. He, yeah. yeah. So, no one tell uh, him he has no soul, definitively. <laughs> yeah. So you've been, unable to, you've been unable to persuade him to uh, get you any 
drinks or tidy up or anything because he's um he's he's consumed with existential angst. Nice one, Edvard. Edvard, you know you can just hire a butler. They're very affordable, very reasonable rates, and they have a soul. But he's he's wonderful and mechanical. Look, he can, he's smoking a cigar. He is smoking a cigar. I don't allow my butler to smoke in my house. Actually. He can sing so. one of three music hall songs. Yes, I've banned singing as well. I find it quite annoying. Wow, you're a laugh, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I can sing. It's my house. Oh. <laughs> okay, Roger. Uh, as you are all um, crowded uh, uh, round the room over the table looking at plans, um, Bug is the first to speak up and says, Sorry, sorry, I got distracted. Run me through the plan again. Well, Bug. Well, go on then, someone. <laughs> this is Bug, everyone. Bug sorry, is, who is this? Is who is this? <laughs> oh. Who's this child? Who is this anthropomorphic mouse? Steady on now. Um, <laughs> uh, Bug, Bug is a is a ranking member of the Gut Cutters, a frankly oh, terrifying I gang of murderous children. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I ain't no mouse. Ain't no, he ain't. He really ain't. Uh, good. Well, really, yeah. We've, really so we've got a. How does the plan work in sequence? Then we get inside. What's the plan for getting inside? Who who was in charge of that? No one. Great. Um, so we get inside somehow. Well, we got inside before. Can't we just do it again? Why do we only do things once? <laughs> I thought that's what we were doing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the gut well. cutters are going to be helping to distract while we go get loud. In. You said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going loud. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. That's oh. what you do. Solid. Okay, you go okay. loud. We slip in, and then of course we've got to get to the vault. And mm-hmm. into it. We've got the plans for the lock. So we avoid the demon. I will open the first door. The second door is powered by demons. So that'll be Lilith's that's, job. That's spooky, yeah. And then we'll just take the bracer, mm-hmm. which is what we're after. And we'll and exfil by a balloon. Via balloon. Yeah. Uh, at this point, plan. Hicks, who is um, uh, who is leaning against the wall, um, lighting a cigar off of the cigar that the wonderful mechanical man is smoking. Uh, cool. She takes a big drag and says, um, um, so just to be clear, uh, where exactly am I supposed to land? Where am I picking you up? And how am I going to know when it's time roof, for the escape? Right? Yeah. Roof? Well, the vault. Yeah, why not? We've got to go through the whole house to get to the roof if we're in the vault. Mm-hmm. But you can't Although, take a balloon off from underground. I did learn that mm-hmm. uh, when we were racing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they yeah. It's quite I mean, important that it has open access sky to the sky. is, is a key mm-hmm. component of successful flight. I was as surprised garden. as you are. Yeah. yeah. Front lawn, back lawn, hedge maze. What have they got? Mm. Could we conceal it somewhere? A balloon? Yeah. Is there some like a wooded area area with a clearing nearby? Hmm. Huh. It's only it's only very conspicuous when it's inflated. You know we had like right. three hours to put the thing together, and you didn't That's lift a true, finger, yeah. and it was only by yes. schmoozing the nearby crews that we could. Which actually... was valuable work. Yeah. So- somewhat valuable, mm. mostly. Mm. I had a great drink with a few of them, basically, right. yeah. Yeah, nice. but look, we are being offered the opportunities. You have the balloon set up. We just need mm-hmm. to get to it. The roof, to be honest with you, is not a bad shout, if you we ask could, me. There were the secret wall passages. We could probably get up to the roof without having to go through the public areas. Surely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sounds good, says Hicks. Uh, and how are you going to let me know when to land? Oh, you'll know. But you're right, we should have a signal. Um, <laughs> If it's not the the approaching sound of chaos, we shall send a ghostly probably... messenger or a mechanical like a ghost messenger. flare. I mean, I could I could make a actual a flare. flare. An alchemical flare, oh, yeah. Yeah, I could make an alchemical flare that fires out of a sort of starting pistol style arrangement. If we could get to a window, that sounds brilliant. Can we also stick a ghost in it? <laughs> yes, fine. We can stick a ghost in it. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, good. Make me a tinker roll, Edvard, um, okay. just for the for the quality of the, uh, okay. of the flare. Uh, that is a three and a two. Okay, cool. Hicks is satisfied. Uh, she's like, yeah, good plan. I'll uh, I'll see you on the roof, and uh, I'll have you away in moments, and uh, and then we can um, talk in a little bit more detail about my share, mm. my fee. I've just uh, sorry, I've just remembered. I'm supposed to roll three dice for. Oh, go on then. Take roll me, two. roll me one. Yeah, <laughs> that's another two. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> I'm sure any obstacles will be capably dealt with. Is there any more planning? Is there any more discussion that we want to do, or is it? Are we approaching engagement? Roll. I would like to nip out to the fishmongers, acquire a small to medium-sized flat fish, and hand it to the mechanical man, and see if that changes his behaviour 
because I'm going to try and tell him that that is what we mean when we talk about a soul. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, um, I tell you what, why don't I make Everyone a Stop playing with the mechanical man, thing. you're not a toy. <laughs> Look, um, I, I believe they call this programming. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's a five. Uh, yeah, you place the... You, you, no, it's you not place a place, the, mate. The place is a soul. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just row back. Um, you, uh, Could you just the... summon it up for it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, let me just... Yeah. <laughs> just for the halibut. Yeah. Um, let's say that it totally works perfectly. Uh, yeah, the wonderful <laughs> mechanical man holds the fish up and says, This is... My soul! Yeah, yeah, that's all yours now, mate. Ah! Ah! I feel like I understand. Poetry! I will write a play, and you shall all perform in it! And the wonderful mechanical man um, totters off out the room. Uh, Great, now write. he's going to write a play, Casimir. Look <laughs> what, what you've done. Play. It'll be terrible, it won't adhere to the three-act structure. <laughs> At least he's not. <laughs> it's better than... No, it's not better than what we had before. <laughs> No. All right. Sorry. You feel very heavy-handed metaphors. <laughs> All right. Yes, I will leave the interventions to you from now on. Sorry, I tried to I'm fix it with fish. I'm going to start a clock that the wonderful mechanical man is working on without any of you yes. <laughs> for writing a play. <laughs> See. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, <laughs> if that's it, I think we're probably about ready to roll, aren't we? Go time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why not? Uh, there are a few um, more details that I'm interested in, as in exactly how uh, the gut cutters perform their distraction and also how Edvard's getting through the lock, but these are all things that I'm pretty sure we can deal with in the moment. Okay, engagement roll time. So here is your dice for sheer bloody luck. Particularly bold or daring? Mm hmm. Hell yes. Yes. Overly com Always. Overly complex? We've got, no. it's quite like, we've it's got most like, we've done. so far yeah. three yeah. allies. It's a composite plan. Yeah. 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 Mm. Guess that dies. Many work moving parts. Yeah, you know what? Minus that dies then. All right. Uh, does it expose a vulnerability or hit them where they're weakest? It is yes. where they're weakest because it's their headquarters. It's where they live. But Or is it their, where they're strongest because it's their headquarters? Yeah. It's where they're strongest, I think. <laughs> we, got, but, we, got the, but, we got, last time we went there, we got this dice. So, yep. Mm. Uh, Although you were going in through the sewers then. And we're um, more prepared this time. We know about the weaknesses in their vault. Yeah. And, so uh, it, this is where they're it. strongest, but we are exposing a vulnerability because we know this place now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you remember don't. a bloody thing. Don't forget that uh, any remembrance of this place that Barnaby does may come in the form of a sort of shocking recollection. Traumatic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, can friends or contacts provide aid? Absolutely, loads of them have, so that's great. Are there enemies or rivals included? Now, I am going to minus you that die because you are on, like, pretty Very negative at the, currently on Hostile Turf. Any other elements to consider? Yes, the Shadow's crew. Now, the second story bonus. Uh, do we call this a clandestine infiltration? What do we think? Oh, we Can we justify that? Yeah, we're making a distraction so that... Yeah, we can infiltrate clandestinely. Cool. Mm. Mm. And for all we I'm, know, the gut cutters are just going to do the whole like shh thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know for what that is. So it sounds like. While well, just driving cool. a blade. All right, so let's. Um, the mind was bad, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, cool. I'll tell you what, I'm going to roll that, then everyone tell me their load, and then we'll see where we're at. Okay. How are we going load wise, everybody? Heavy as Light. the day is long. Yeah. yeah, same. I think, yeah. I think heavy. I've got to be able to carry a bunch of different tools, so yeah, heavy. Yeah, I'm going heavy we're because going I've taken off the mechanical man's arms and legs, and I've got him as a backpack like C-3PO. <laughs> Why? In case I need to deploy the wonderful mechanical man, and I don't want him wandering off. I've switched Without him off arms and legs. <laughs> I've switched him off. I can't <laughs> tuck him under one arm. He's man-sized. <laughs> All right, he's going to have to reckon with the concept of being switched off and on, and this might it, this might play into <laughs> this might become a key theme in his play. He doesn't experience time; it's instant. <laughs> All right. Um, so I can nap. Okay. Right. I've done the engagement roll, uh, and in typical fashion, with three dice, I've managed to get two twos oh, and a four. Hmm. So good stuff. Hmm. So we're skipping you through to. Uh, let's fast forward to two. 
Yeah. You you are uh, on the outskirts of the Dimmer Mansion. Uh, you're you're basically at the main gates, which has a long winding drive up through the gardens, and you can see the mansion ahead of you. Out of the uh, bushes nearby emerge uh, Bug and Mumbles, the now familiar forms, uh, and actually, in a kind of clown car fashion, more and more urchins uh, emerge from these bushes, and Bug is sort of counting them all off as they come. It's like Mumbles, Thistle, Frog. TikTok, uh, you know, a sort of end, a, a long string of, of urchins. Um, Bug marches up and down in front of them, giving them, a, giving them a little sort of militaristic uh, speech to inspire them. Uh, and the way that their distraction is basically going to work is, it's going to be quite close to what Casimir originally described all those sessions back, which is a rush in, trigger every trap, which will basically give you all an opening to to slip in while everyone is distracted. Is the plan. So, Bug Casimir just fixes you with a look and, and says, um, Good luck. You too, big man. One more question before I go. Go on. Killing? Yes, no, maybe? Ideally not, but... Ideally not. I can work with that. <laughs> Charge! <laughs> and um, the, the gut cutters uh, sprint off up the drive, um, all of them yelling in their childish high voices. Um <laughs> It's okay, they don't get very it's far okay. into the grounds um, before suddenly you see flashes of light go up from a, a, across the lawn. Like, boof, boof. what is basically happening is they are walking into proximity ghost traps. Ghosts who are uh, tethered to a certain spot and are, wow. are programmed. Are these children to... going to be okay? And are Were pro- they okay are, to begin with? <laughs> yeah. oh. uh, they, uh, the ghosts, basically upon being triggered by these proximity alarms just uh, sort of awake and start screaming um so kind of wailing ghost sirens are kind of going up for boof, 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 all over the lawns uh. from the house you hear a dung 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 dun, kind of alarm bell being run rung mm. and um the front door flies open and uh dimmer sisters start pouring out rushing into the in, into the gardens and you can dimly uh, distantly hear bug uh, screaming, come on, man, let's have you! And uh, basically, a, a huge scrap is happening now out the front of the Dimmer Mansion. <laughs> you hear them scream, bundle! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They use British bulldog uh, maneuvers. It's a, yeah, it's a classic play. Yeah. Well, they're playing our song. All, All right, right. How, how do we get in then? Um, could I lead a prowl group action? You betcha. Okay. So everyone who wants to sneaky sneaky roll prowl. To prowl, okay, yeah. right. It's fives from me, a pair of them. Two, sorry. Three. Uh, that's a five and a six. Ooh, Ooh nice. Oh wait, I don't have I, anything in prowl. I have so. to take I have to take the lower one because I don't have a dot in prowl, so it's uh-huh. a five. Yeah, I got a six and a three, so. So you have to take the lower result. Well. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Well, we okay. got a six. Well, I, so that's I think three stress for this guy. Okay, yeah, so Casimir take three stress and through the chaos, there's um there's a sort of ornate hedge maze up the left side of the drive, outside the dimmer mansion, and you basically just sort of shimmy your way around the outside of it, avoiding all of the chaos and the carnage and the and the sounds of um what is turning into a, a fairly brutal uh, scrap, and you make it all the way up to the front door, which is clear of sisters uh, for the moment, and just one after another, Kazmi, you just signal over when when, it, when it's clear, and whoop, you all slip inside and find yourself in the grand lobby of the Dimmer Mansion, and at this point we're going to add the complication for the engagement role, which is that there is uh, one Dimmer sister who was uh, a little bit slow to wake up, um, a little bit lazy, who was still fast asleep, and is basically running to the fight, still pulling on her cloak, and she just sort of is going to just stop and look at you, and no matter what you do next, I will start a six-segment clock for being discovered. Okay. Cool. Soccer, Zilla. I say. Go on, Zilla, this is your yeah, I was going to say, how <laughs> close is she? Uh, she? She basically runs, in, in fact, she does just run in, like, bounce run into off us. The, the group of you. Uh, All right. Skidding on the floor. Okay, I say, I'm, I'm sort of sorry, and I take her by the face and, like, oh, <laughs> on the ground. Pancake her into the floor. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, roll me for that. Okay. All right. That's a, oh, a wreck. Yeah, it's a wreck. Oh, she's going to feel that in the morning. Uh, it's a six. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. 
donk. Uh, she doesn't even have an opportunity to uh, to get a, a, a oh, noise. So bad for you though. I prop out. her up against the yeah. the banister. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, she is um, donk. I unconscious. open her eyes and check they're still. You know. <laughs> she put her on her side so she doesn't swallow her tongue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Check her pupils. Also, don't they always go around in pairs? Are we not worried about a second? Dimmer well, sister? this was lazy, so I assume Maisie's already out in the fight. Hey. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's what you get for being lazy. Oh. Yeah, lazy. The dimmer sister is. Um, you, in fact, outside you can distantly hear a kind of shout. Lazy, where are you? We're getting our asses kicked out here. Um, <laughs> I say five more minutes, mum. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you prop uh, you prop Lazy the Dimmer Sister up against a banister in the recovery <laughs> position. You've touched her pupils. She is completely conked out, but uh, but is still breathing. Uh, so no, we won't fill in any pieces of clock, but we have we have started that discovery clock, and here you are in the house. Okay, who remembers the way to the vault? It was uh, through the arboretum, right? Barnaby, what do you remember? Are you getting any traumatic flashbacks? Because that would be helpful. Nothing yet. Um, oh. If I Ooh. if I had another drink, maybe, you know, might trigger something. Not sure if that would help. Um, um, yeah, it was through the Arboretum, I'm pretty sure. I'll yeah, tell you what, there should be I... a way via the Arboretum. There's a painting in there that I look through, so... Can mm-hmm. I call, lost, call a flashback? Forget. I feel like this is yeah. a uh, prominent, a sort of oh, no. prominent Sorry. building. I've just remembered it was not the Arboretum. It was through the, the room There's... that I was looking in, which was the office. There's the right. off, there's there's entrances everywhere. There's one in the arboretum. There's one in the kitchen. Barnaby was being held in the through the arboretum. Yeah. Yes, you're right. And I went right. there, and I could have gone out, but I I legged it because there were two Dimmer sisters. And then you and Casimir Casimir went in and got Barnaby out via yeah, that, that painting. Yeah. That wasn't the that wasn't the vault where they're holding the thing. That no, was but we in can the get op- to the the vault. We can get to. Well, the entrance to the vault that I saw was through the office, which is. Mm. Upstairs. If we go through the Arboretum, we may well unearth a lot of repressed and horrible memories, which, while funny, <laughs> might be a hindrance to um, to, to our <laughs> mission. So perhaps we should go through yes. the office. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was about to offer uh, one stress to anyone who wanted to take the flashback to get the answer, but Edvard, you have nailed it. The um, the library office room that had the vault in it was um, on the second floor. You don't know what it's connected to because you saw it through the walls mm-hmm. but you know it's connected to a wall i guess but it was upstairs for sure but yeah if we go up to the second floor we should be able to figure it out there can't be that many rooms right <laughs> <laughs> well, mm-hmm. well, let's go yeah i as yeah. as we go Time up i'm essence. looking in the wall for any other entrances because i remember the way because zilla and i were actually in that room at one point which is where we met the ghost dog man so i'm trying to look for any nooks and crannies that could open up to be the old servants routes no worries um as you uh, uh there's a in in the lobby that you're in there's a there's a very grand curving um, old marble staircase uh, that leads up to the second floor and you all uh, scamper up there you don't see any sisters the noise from outside out in the lawn is is, is still quite cacophonous as you make it up to the second floor what you can see are a number of rooms uh, coming off of the banister that you're on and um and a long corridor uh, that leads sort of further down as you look down there you can, can't see any doors coming off that corridor but you can see that it leads to a, a, a sort of larger chamber uh, further into the house so you've got some doors immediately here big chamber ahead well let's i open the nearest door what's in there uh, it's a music room um there is a dusty harpsichord um that looks like it hasn't been played in a very long time and um and a harp that's lying on its side right. and missing some strings. I check nope. the magical mechanical man to make sure he's definitely off. <laughs> <laughs> well, since since you mentioned, yeah, he's he's off. Yeah. He's All right. Off. Next yeah. next door. In this room, you've got a. Um, it's not the right door. <laughs> Close it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You open it. It's not the right door. Yeah, you you look in. No, it's not the room. It's just you full of toe bones. It's just metatarsals everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's the uh, ossuary. It's the dimmer sister ossuary. Ooh. It's the bone area. Packed full of yeah. packed full of bones. Yeah. I've got an idea. We need to be in the walls, right? We don't need to be in the. We can't. I don't think we can get into the room from. The I walls. feel like we know our way around this mansion best when we're in the mm, walls. But we can. And we can look. That's our familiarity. We can look into the, the room, but we can't enter the, the room. For, uh, Zilla and I entered the room from the walls. You did, yes. You that's how we fire. got in. Yeah. All right, get yeah. that's, that's how door. we saw yeah. the door. Yeah. That is so, true. How are we doing this? 
I take a sledgehammer from my duffel and start hitting the wall. Cool, mark off. <laughs> sledgehammer feels like two, two. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, make me a roll. Surprised you're letting me have a sledgehammer, actually. Make me a roll uh, for the sledgehammering. All right, let's let's have a rec roll for the sledgehammer, and I just pick a spot on the nearest wall, and uh, that's uh, six. Yeah. <laughs> Straight through one hit. Yeah. Um, uh, it's a very old, like rotted wall. Yeah. You terrible condition. Swing the sledgehammer into it. The rest of you wince because you're expecting this to be extremely noisy, uh, and it is as the sledgehammer kind of. <laughs> Yeah, but there's so much noise going on outside. It, yeah, it is uh, exactly hear? as the sledgehammer impacts. It's at the exact same moment that you hear a cry go up from outside of like, "Oh, this little bastard just stabbed me in the shin!" <laughs> um, so you're, yeah, you are, you are covered. Uh, yeah, and in the gap you've just smashed, it's a mostly kind of old, rotted wall. But there is, yeah. you have, it, it, you you've broken through a gap into the into the secret ways that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that looks much more familiar to me, to us, I imagine. It's the, yeah. Because that's where we were before. It's the kind of, yeah, you you do recognise it as a bit of wall that you were in. It's going to be a bit of a squeeze to get into there. Oh, it looks filthy. I'm going to ruin this coat, aren't I? Yes. Yes, you are. Mm. All right, everyone in. Your lordship, (laughs) after you. Cool. Uh, finally, someone who's showing a bit of respect. Oh no! I shove Barnaby. Oh no! Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you all uh, you, you squeeze into the walls. Um, Barnaby, as you get in there, um, your your coat just snags on a, a, a nail that's sticking out, and it just <laughs> oh. uh, tears a, a huge huge hole in the in the back. Well, I'm going to have to find someone to repair this, or just buy another one. Yeah, probably just do that. Right, as you uh, pick your way uh, through this. Uh, you're back it back in the walls uh, again you you see at odd intervals um, the rear sides of picture frames that you can use to look out and um, Lilith and Zilla and Edvard you do eventually curve round to a bit of corridor that looks familiar this is indeed the same corridor that you were in once before when you accessed the room that you are trying to get to mm. Mm. Uh, and mm. you find the door and you give it a shove to enter the room but find Oh, it isn't moving. No. Oh. Sledgehammer. They secured it after we were here last. I give it a go with the sledgehammer. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, go, go on then. All right. I mean, I might as well get the use out of it. That's a five. Five. Yeah. Um, you uh, you swing the sledgehammer into it. Uh, there's a kind of resonant donk noise, and then a pause, and then a kind of <laughs> and you feel more than you your sense your auditory senses tell you uh, mm. that basically something was pushed in front of this door uh, uh. a stack of shelves or something and through sheer brute force you have just toppled it over with an almighty crash so let's fill in our first piece and uh well there's now a hole in front of you into the right. uh, into the into everyone the, out the hole yep in the hole out the hole let's oh, go yeah, like. mm. to mm. refresh you on what this room uh looks like it is accessed by a, um, a spiral staircase that comes up from the floor below uh, mm. and cut into the wall. There is another staircase that winds even even further up. It is a sort of circular dome shaped room. The most of the shelves are lined. Sorry, most of the walls are lined with shelves that are full of bottles um, of ghosts, mm. as we will remember. Uh, and there is, of course, a, a supplies closet that um, Zilla you'll remember you you, um, <laughs> you managed got to got very lock, confused about yeah. got very confused about unlocked some uh, lock I some. never did unlock the mystery of the supplies come <laughs> and um, uh, one day there's a, there's now a sign on the uh, on the um, on the on the store cupboard that says beware of intruders ask for ID <laughs> and here you are in this room it's because of you Zilla I say nudging her yeah <laughs> Good. A living, breathing world. Um, with a <laughs> with a star, Edvard. You, yeah. <laughs> uh, Edvard, it, it dawns on you at this point that um, uh, it wasn't exactly clear where the door to the vault was. It appeared to be an ordinary patch of wall. I saw them going through it, right? You did see them go through it, yes. But uh, they did something. Hmm. Well, can I go over and investigate the part of the wall that I saw them go through. Yep. 
Um, if anyone else wants to investigate, we could make this a group action, or you could. I tell you what, why don't you help help Edvard if anyone else wants uh, to? That's I'll help. Do it. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, let's all cool. take, so a take one. Uh, take think... one stress, anyone who wants to help, and we'll take the best result. I'll do it. Okay. I think we a saw... survey roll, is it? Uh, I'm going to do study. I'm gonna... cool. Oh, okay. I've got a dot in study. Sure, I'll take a stress. I don't, but I'll do it. A two. Five. Two. Six and a five. <sighs> num, 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 num. Cool, good job we did the helping. Um, mm. Yeah, everyone sets to sort of looking around the the edges of the room and um what does it look like is it does it just look like there's nothing there I'm just kind of uh there, yeah it's smooth bare stone wall um mm. wherever there is not um shelves Aww. lilith you're um <laughs> you're kind of going putting your hands up against the wall kind of going brick by brick and your hands slides across one brick and just slips through it whoop, like that just goes through the wall as if you yourself were a spirit Ghost brick. You recognise this as a ghost brick. <laughs> ghost brick. <laughs> it's a brick that died with unfinished business. Yes. It is a. Yeah. It, was, yeah, it, is it a, was still um, holding up a wall when it passed. <laughs> this brick died in a terrible passion. <laughs> <laughs> let's say what's the in-universe explanation for ghost brick that I just made up? Let's say um, uh, let's say the Dimmer Sisters in all of their ghost twisting mania. Oh, have, was this? Was it a person? They, got they put a tortured into soul into a brick. brick. Wow. Oh, no. to, give, to give the brick. What, for a ghost-like laugh? Ghost-like properties. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, as your hand goes through it, Lilith, you hear a faint, echoey voice go, Oh, pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh I'm, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> don't, don't, don't mind me. I'll be, I'll be out your hair. Uh, <laughs> what's going on over there? Why oh, this is the wall. I appreciate the human contact, to be honest. It's been a while. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, well, is that... I'm patting you. I'm patting you on, on Lilith, your why shoulder. why are you stroking that brick? Um, ooh, there's a ghost ooh, in it. That feels lovely. <laughs> yeah, oh. All the more reason why we're asking why you're stroking the brick. Stop making out with that brick. I'm not making... We're on a... Do you know what making out is, here? Edvard? <laughs> Can I survey for a drinks globe or something? I feel like I need a drink. Uh, you can drink something in this room if you want, Barnaby. <laughs> can I? Uh, <laughs> bottled yeah, ghosts, I mean there though. are bottles everywhere, Barnaby. All right, I'm gonna do a survey roll, see if I can they're, find a drink. They're definitely okay. one it's a kind four. of spirit. It's a four. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right, two things happen at the same time. Um, Lilith, as you sort of tickle the ghost brick, uh, let's say, uh, it just kind of vibrates in a kind of like <laughs> I'm ticklish kind of way, uh, and there's a <laughs> clunk noise uh, as it just suddenly goes. <laughs> And recesses into the wall and um, the illusion that was masking the first vault door just kind of wobbles away in a kind of watery mm-hmm. you know Mario 64 that effect when you jump into a painting mm. it's kind of like yeah like with ripples kind of bloop, 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 like that um, and you are stood in front of now an enormous uh, circular metal vault door that Edvard looks familiar to you mm-hmm. because you have seen this in blueprint form and from a distance through a wall Mom, once lovely, before. Yeah. Meanwhile, Barnaby um, takes a uh, takes a bottle off of the shelf. Yep. Um, it is marked uh, gin. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Pour myself a glass. Uh, that's, Anyone else? How is that spelled? <laughs> it is spelt D J I N N. Off we go. <laughs> yeah, you uncork it, dunk like that, and uh, raise it to your lips. There is indeed um, a little bit of uh, uh, fluid in there, hmm. and it does have an effect on you. Hmm. Uh, it's a very, very, very potent boozing effect. Uh, boozing. You... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, Barnaby, you are very drunk. What? You've, you've imbibed a little bit of um, you've imbibed a little bit of a of a ghost, um, <laughs> basically. What? He's electroplasted. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Now we have our official term. It's got a real kick to it. Yeah. You're mm. electroplasted, um, Barnaby. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This vault then. Mm. Yes. So. Crack it. All right. Open fine, it. I will. Get it All right, open. I will. I'm doing it. Do your tinkering. I'm doing it. Thing. Um, okay. So having studied the plans Do it for faster. the for the vault door my solution to break through it because it can't be picked with conventional tinker tools even though it's a stupid lock for babies so what i've brought along instead i'm going to tick off a box of load for this is a huge syringe of a kind of cork like material that i'm going to inject into the vault door and this stuff expands once it's out of the tube and the way it's going to work is it's just going to go into all of the empty space inside the vault door 
and expand and sort of push outwards and just break the vault door internally and the whole thing will just shatter and fall apart. That sounds brilliant. Mm. Let's do it. Okay, so a, a tinker or a wreck, do we think? Up to you. Bit well, I'll go with tinker because I've got two. Yeah. Dots and tinker. <laughs> Given a choice. Yes. Uh, all right. The main thing you're doing is is uh, piping in cork. Yeah. So, yeah, um, yeah I think you... All right. Come on. There's four and a five. Yeah, you whip out your corking device that you have that you've crafted and you find the seam that you remember from the blueprints being there invisible almost to the naked eye but just a just a hairline crack oh, along there, the yep. the right side of of one of the components of the vault uh it's enough for you to uh work in the edge of this um this device and just i'm in this thing it makes a kind of hissing sound as it as it goes in uh and then moments later the vault door starts to make boom, boom. Boom, boom, noises. Yep. Watch out for flying bits of metal, everyone. I say. Yeah. Um, now you tell us. I retreat to a safe distance behind a desk. You 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 duck behind a desk because now sort of bolts are starting to ping. Yikes! And, I flip like the that. desk on its side so it's cover. Yeah. yeah. I uh, one haven't the, noticed. I. Uh, <laughs> one of the. <laughs> what I tell you what everyone's got everyone's ducked for cover. Uh, oh, except I Barnaby, um, oh. who is unfortunately a little too boozy, and that a bolt, Barnaby just no one goes to help, pings out and just dunk, hits you square in the forehead. Oh. Um, oh. Take level one harm. Oh, oh. I grab him by the ankle and drag him behind the desk. I did say yeah. get oh. into cover, Barnaby. You're Normally the listening. hangover doesn't kick in quite so quite so early, but I got a splitting oh headache. Oh my god! You now have a large sort of hexagonal <laughs> mark uh, in the. In the center, in the center of your forehead. Let's. Make, I was going to make it be noisy, but let's make that the complication instead. Barnaby is <laughs> hurt. Yeah, and moments later, the vault door starts to deform and just bulge outward, and just with a terrific crash, just <laughs> slowly comes away from the wall. And it's the second thing in this room to calamitously <laughs> bong downwards onto the floor. Yes. Screw it. I, you know what? I'm gonna. We can't not fill it for that. Cool. Right. Um. There is now, in the wall behind, a, a sort of ragged, uh, maybe four foot tall hole in the wall. Mm -hmm. okay. What, do we see through it? Nothing, it's pitch dark. Oh. Well, there's a second vault door, right? Mm. Yeah, it's the ghost door. Door within the door. <laughs> okay, Lilith, you're up. Go look at the spooky hole. Get your lantern. <laughs> Come on. I, All right. Um, still behind the desk, I'm going to take a box of load and produce a fine bottle of whiskey and just like, <laughs> start sending... A, a belt round. <laughs> oh yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, All right. Take I've had it, Lily. <laughs> <Take Yeah. a laughs> like, You're up, okay. Spokes. Spoke. Okay. Okay. Right. Let Let's get my stuff together. So to prepare for this, I'd like to put on my spirit what do you mask need? to help aid me be more with my spooky stuff. Ooh. And uh, I've got my lantern ready with my bright light. Okay. Okay. And uh, yeah, I hold the the light up into like the dark void that seems to be in front of us, and take a, a good look around and see if there's anything there. Yeah, Lilith, you creep into the the dark gap between the wall, um, mm -hmm. holding the the lantern out. Um, the lantern is is the lantern is uh, is it lit at the moment in any way? Obviously, it's designed to kind of give a sort of strobe like blast of light but is it emanating anything it is currently? it is emanating a small light uh okay. as i just like just to give a little bit of light and then it, it emanates a blast at one point as soon sure. as i turn the little thing on the side of it you can see maybe a, a couple of feet um it, a, around you you think the lantern should be casting more light than this but um but uh this this room has a very a weird room. and oppressive vibe you walk in uh and you notice this odd thing going on with the light and you, you turn back to tell the others and you notice that the hole that you walked through has just vanished and you oh, are no. enclosed completely in a give up on this <laughs> four kings style abyss okay you fumble blindly for a for a wall and you do find one it's a it's a stone um okay. stone wall it, it's slightly slick to the touch kind of slightly damp mm -hmm. and in the light cast by the lantern you can just see the shadow of a hand um, just moving towards yours where you're touching the wall. Okay. 
<laughs> I, okay, I kind of just quiet, like, guys, I think I found the demon. <laughs> I'd say to everyone else, you can still yeah, see the see? opening. Uh, Lilith can't see out, can but we hear you can Lilith? still see in. You can hear her, but it sounds like she's oh. a long way away. It's very oh. faint. It's like a kind of, almost like a, like a kind of buzzing in your ear. But you can get in there and help if you want slash need to. Yeah. Well, maybe just <laughs> banish it. Maybe. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can't hear Lilith. You can't hear anything from outside. Yeah. Oh. I'm just like, I, I... Do you think she's got this? I mean, it's her whole deal, right? Do you, yeah. Bashing ghosts. Just... We don't need to get in the way. Like yeah. I don't, don't know what I would I help. don't need to get in the way. I mean, the, I was with her at the university. We got attacked by a demon over there. I just hid under a desk. She sorted it all out. I think she's... This is her wheelhouse. I'm going to prop my new cane up and get up. Uh, I don't have to tick a box a load for it, but I can pull a spirit bane charm. And I'm just going to go like, if you want something doing... I'm going to totter into the opening. Oh, hello. This seems scary, doesn't it? Uh, That's the, the spirit of, old man. I say. The voice of Casimir oh, makes I'm you jump. I'm scared. Lilith. I'm scared, Lilith. Good luck. Bless, yeah. Bravo. Bravo. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, okay. Hi, Casimir. Um, they're, yeah, they're, they're kind of, I can't hear you guys through there. Um, but I think I found it because uh, Clutching Shadows. Yay, look at that. Like, I put my hand here and then that horrible hand appears. Cool. So, <laughs> this, is, this is great. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, what I would like to do is trigger the bright light on this. Mm-hmm. And as I do so, I would like to compel Esketra to leave and never come back. Go for it. Okay. All right. <laughs> I pass the bottle of whiskey back to Zilla and I say, so would you rather fight a hundred duck-sized horses <laughs> or one horse-sized duck? Oh, okay, I got a two and a six. <laughs> yes. Okay, your your thumb finds the dial on, on this lantern and um, you click it. Uh, the lantern hums with a whine like like a battery charging just for a moment and then Edvard's design has, has, has proved very useful it just <laughs> brightly illuminates the entire room as the light floods this room you, you find that you are in a small squarish stone chamber every single wall is covered in shadowy hands that in the light all go and, and recoil and start to writhe as if in pain and in the corner of the room you see what looks like a pile of filthy, stinking laundry uh, is basically just sort of twisting and wriggling in midair and making a unpleasant noise, like mm-hmm. like that. Okay, cool. Right, as part of, as part of my compel, I'd like to use my lightning hook um, to hook onto the shambling pile as I cry for it to leave. To be banished. To uh, be Kazma, banished. can I ask what you're what you're up to um, in in the moment? I think I might try it. I might just on reflex test out this marvelous new cane I have. Yeah, um, go for flip, duel. It's going to sort of flip the top on it and poof. I haven't quite worked <laughs> out the coolest way to fire it yet, so we're going to try a nice an open palm slap. Cool. <laughs> um, uh, roll me for that. Um, and Lilith, I know you rolled a six, but we're doing something quite complicated here. So having stunned Skeptra, I think it is reasonable to okay. roll again for the okay. for the hooking. Mm. I'm going to push myself. Okay. That's two fives. I also got a five. Lilith, you swing your hook into the the pile of dirty rags and just and just give it a yank, uh, and it just sort of starts to unravel and spin apart. You can see between, like, through the fabric as it spins, you can see the vague form of of, of something, like, bony and old. Uh, and it's into this gap that, Casimir, you just yes. blast your um, uh, blast your electroplasmic ammo. It works brilliantly. Um, the shot is spent, but, yeah, it goes straight into the heart of, uh, mm. of Isketra and detonates. Um, for your complication... Um, wet cursed rags basically fly outwards and just hit you in the face (laughs) it is very very gross um, but it also has a um, a a draining effect on you so both take level one harm it's kind of like a very faint allergic reaction to um, uh, yeah we'll call it um, we'll call it uh, 
curse exposure. It hurts your soul, but it doesn't kill wow. you. <laughs> a really bad allergy reaction. Yeah, and as you you look trip. round at the uh, you look round at the walls and those hands, all those grasping hands, just kind of sort of melt away. And behind where the bundle of rags are, um, you see a, a, a small iron door. Are okay. we able to see back into the the main room? You can now. I'm yes. going to march back over there as swiftly as I can um, and take the whiskey back. Spooky. What it. are you up to in uh, in in this? I'm going to cheers, Casimir. Cheers. Nice, Casimir. If you're interested, it was a hundred uh, duck-sized horses. Zilla would fight a hundred duck-sized horses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, more things to fight. Yeah. Quantity. Adds up. Made sense to me. I think I should secure the door. I, I go and secure the door okay. of the room in case someone wants to come in while we're cracking the safe or vault or what have you. All right, so what yeah. have we got now? We've just got an iron door. Yeah, um, I normal? yeah, I reach for the iron door nice. and have um, a look okay. and see if I can open it. So where is everyone? Uh, is it just Lilith in the um, in the in the room or have you now sort of Currently. all entered the Yeah, the I'm going to enter the sort of antechamber. Yeah. Cool. So it's everyone apart from I'm going to stand right? sentry on the door of the the door the, the proper door, not the wall door, mm-hmm. the proper door of the cool. um, study room. Nice. Um, I'm going to just for the time this conversation took, just fill another piece of alert clock. But you're not doing too bad with that. So you were all there. You the the four of you uh, are clustered behind Lilith um, as you kind of pull the handle on this iron door. Lilith. Yeah, it I've is. got my spirit hook in one hand, ready to go yeah. just in case. And I'm just yeah. like you know how you would peek through a, a door in a, in a horror film like yeah like that yeah <laughs> you just this iron door just swings open uh, the vault is a um it's another surprise surprise dark stone room this one is lit only by the eerie glow emanating from bottles and jars that line rows of, of shelves in here um and those shelves are also filled with like peculiar objects uh, like some of which look very very old some are very very dusty and there's some very very big very rare looking um books in here as well and in the middle of the room holding a golden bracer in one hand uh stands a woman she has uh, gray hair and uh, you can see in the dim light that she has a, a wrinkled face and she's bent over slightly and seems to be uh, just a little bit out of breath and uh, she looks at you, Lilith, and says, uh, A pleasure to meet you at last. My name is Eleanor, founding member of the Dimmer Sisters. Wait. As Eleanor, as in Eleanor's antiques? Yes, the very same. Yes. 